Hi guys! Today we're making this miniature black forest cake baking scene. I hadn't made a miniature scene in quite a while, so I figured it was time. Firstly, let's make the cherries, since we also need them for the cake. Take some red polymer clay, roll it into a snake and then cut equal pieces. Roll each little piece into a ball, then take a needle tool, make a line down the side and a small dotting tool to make an indent on the top. For the stems, I took some thin wire, cut small pieces and then gently push it into the top of every little clay ball. Then bake the cherries according to package instructions. After cooling, I used acrylic paint to paint the stems. I arranged some cherries on a small miniature plate to go next to the cake and then seal them with glaze. Now let's work on the cake. Take some brown and white polymer clay, roll it out thin, then take a round cookie cutter, cut out three pieces for the cake and two pieces for the inside. Then stack the pieces and push them together to get rid of any air. Using an exacto knife, carefully cut out a piece of the cake, showing the inside. If you want, you can keep the piece and also a texture to this, but I decided not to this time. Stick the cake onto another miniature plate using some liquid clay. Taking my trusty needle slash dental tool, I'm gonna add texture to the inside cake layers in both a poking and a swirling motion. To make the filling seem a little more real, we're gonna use a mix of solid and liquid clay that's been mixed together into a kind of icing-like consistency you're going to add this on top of the white filling so it kind of looks like it's oozing out. Since the filling should have some cherries in them, you're going to take a few balls of the cherry color, cut them up and then stick in small pieces. Add the filling mixture to the sides as well. Cut up some brown clay to be chocolate pieces and stick them on. And this is where I try to show you something on white clay on a white background. Great idea. Um, this is illustrating how I did the little pipe tops that's going on the top of the cake. I used a small dotting tool and a needle tool.
Make them really small to fit the cake and then stick them on top. Before baking I like to make a little mess on the plate with some more of the icing mixture and also some crumbs of brown clay to be kind of cake crumbs. This just makes it look a little more realistic. After baking the cake completely I added some red acrylic paint to the inside filling. Remember to glaze the berries on top as well. To add some more detail to the scene, I took a miniature metal knife and added some of the icing mixture and some crumbs to that before baking it. I also filled a miniature bowl with some of the extra icing. To make some berry filling, Mix some liquid clay with a few shades of pastel, then chop up some of the berry colored clay and mix it in. Then add it to a bowl and bake both bowls. To make the open cookbook, I used some watercolors on some sketchbook paper and just painted the front and back. I added some final details with a few watercolor pencils. When I was happy with the look, I fixed it with some hairspray before adding some Mod Podge and cutting it out. Photo like the cover of a real book, then take the leftover paper from before and cut out squares to be the pages. Hold them tightly together and then add some glue to the back and let dry before gluing them in to the outside. You can draw on the pages of your book if you want, but I left mine blank. I made the spring foam pan with the mold I made in a previous video. I'll link you to that in the info box and that shows how to make the spring foam pan itself. I filled the mold with some scrap clay and then baked it completely before popping it out. To get a metallic effect I used silver alcohol ink and then used some black acrylic paint for detail. Seal with glaze before gluing in a piece of baking paper.
Finally, let's make the base for it all to sit on. I used this wooden gift tag and used a craft blade to cut away some of the wood so it looked like it was made of separate pieces and then scratching it up real good. Then I painted it with acrylic paint. And that's the final board. Now you can glue all your pieces in place. I like to accessorize with pieces of fabric and extra pieces of miniature cutlery just because I like it to look a little cramped. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was fun to do stuff like this again because it had been a while. So let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!